Yo, what's up guys, it's Scoop here, and I'm here to show you the most useful hacks to do on 9B9T. Fit made a video about this, you know, FitMC, the guy that makes 2B2T videos, but I thought I'd make it for 9B9T based on this comment right here. That gave me an idea, and so here we are. In this situation, I'm trapped inside of another portal. This often happens on 9B9T and on 2B2T because people trap nether portals and then kill the people they're on and this trapped them for no reason at all. So here I open up a new world and I turn on the portals option that allows me to use my GUI inside of a portal and then I can slash kill myself to get out of the portal because usually you cannot open chat inside of portals. I use timer to go on the very narrow bridge and it has a hole in it. I almost fall, but thanks to SafeWalk, I do not fall. SafeWalk basically allows you to go on the edge of a block, but does not allow you to fall unless you manually jump. This is very useful if you're using timer in nether highways. In these brief moments that I used Killora, you can see that the person is fighting me and I'm fighting him. His Killora seems to be not working a lot, but mine does. Killora basically allows your player to hit somebody in your range, and they can be behind you, they can be to the side, and they can be in front of you. It doesn't matter. But this gives you a fair advantage because you can circle around opponents using timer and speed and, and get the upper hand on them since they can't hit you while you can hit them. Throughout this whole entire footage, you might be asking yourself why I'm not losing that much hunger. That's because I have the anti-hunger hack toggled. The anti-hunger hack is basically what it stands for. It makes your hunger not go down as fast. I don't know how this works, I have no idea how it's implemented, but it does work. Thing is, anti-hunger isn't really popular because in earlier versions of Impact, it used to kill you when you touched water. Now they fixed that bug and anti-hunger is very effective while trying to go somewhere in the nether or in the overworld. This is better for poorer players because they don't have that many dupe sashes and they don't have that much food to go with them. So this is very useful. Here I go through a portal and it's not trapped, but there's a spawn patrol here with full diamond armor. I'm not ready to take them on, so I activate timer. Timer basically speeds up your game from the client so that you can go faster and it does not flag anti-G checks, on this server at least. I call this the poor man's speed, because speed, any settings of speed at all, don't work, except on ground, but on ground give you a brief boost before you get lagged back to your previous position, so this is not good. Timer, I found around 3.8 to 4.2 works best, it doesn't lag you back. Timer on 10 works, but it lags you back a lot. As you can see here, I use speed to move across these blocks accurately. I know I said that speed didn't work, but if you use speed with strafe, it does work. You should put it on 1.02 and you'll be all set. It gives you a small boost, but it doesn't flag the anti-G because it's very minimal. Here's the thing though, with speed strafe, you can strafe in the air, move around in the air, and you can't usually do that when you're on a legit client. That's because strafe allows you to move literally in the air, and you can basically make your momentum out of thin air. Here as you can see I use Baritone. Baritone can be used as a standalone mod or is included with impact. Here I use it to automatically go to a location. As you can see I type in hashtag go to and then my location. For some reason hashtag this way doesn't work because, I don't know, maybe it's just a bug? But I use the go to function to automatically go somewhere and I can still look around while I'm going there. This is very useful because you don't have to sit at your computer for hours and just hold down W because you could have Baritone do the work for you. Now imagine that you're exploring spawn or that you're a new player and you just got to spawn. You turned on safe walk, you turned on timer, and you're trying to get out. But accidentally, you turn off your safe walk. Now you die and you lost all of your progress. This happens, with me at least, a lot of times, so I use no fall. You might be asking yourself, well, no fall doesn't work because I've tried it. That's because you use the wrong settings. 
what you should use is not normal nofall, not high pixel nofall, but nofall with catch. I mentioned this in my previous videos, but nofall with catch works perfectly on this server, and it catches you before you fall, and you don't take any fall damage. This is very useful when exploring very high areas and that you don't want to fall off of them. Here, I do not jump when using baritone. This is because I have the step cheat. The step hack allows you to step up full block while not jumping on them. It even allows you to step up fences, but with a delay. Here I'm using step note cheat plus. This step has small delay when stepping up blocks, but it's still faster and easier than jumping. Since jumping lowers your hunger immensely, step is very useful if you want to get up hills. As you may have noticed, I didn't include all hacks or all useful hacks in this video. So, if you want to see a part 2, leave a like and subscribe. You can vote on the poll up here if you want to see more 9b9t, or maybe some of these videos where I teach you how to use hacks and what hacks to use. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.